Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet. And guys, I am back to Alberta, White Moose Lake. I have not been here in a long, long time. Just to give an example, the last time I was here was during the quit Christmas event. Not from this last year, but the year before that. So it's been a while, guys. Yeah, I was unobtainable for a long time. And then I got into doing the bass and some other things and then the updates and well I just haven't been back here for a while. Well since that time there's been some well obviously we know about some of the changes and we also know there's been some species added. Now most of the species that were here before are still here but there's a new one that I want to kind of check out while I'm here for the next few episodes. And that's this one called the Splake, which seems to be a hybrid between a brook trout and a female leg trout, which is interesting. I want to take a quick look at this guy. Yep, looks very troutish. <laughs> Splake, so it comes in common, trophy, and unique. That's another thing. There's been a lot of changes with the uniques, too. It used to not be... Well, there used to actually be, I believe, a trophy white sucker. They don't have them here now. And there's now a unique lake trout. I don't think that was there before, nor was there a unique burbot or brook trout. But we're going to check this out because I'm sure the dynamics of this have changed. Now, I came here previously and fished a little bit, guys. And... I tell you, I was pulling in some uh, good cash fish here, and it's not even to the peak yet. Let me check here on my. Oh, I need my inventory here. Yeah, this is what I got here so far. Not too many yet, but I tell you what we got to do because it is kind of pricey to get here. So you really have to get hard on some of the species that will bring in a lot of money. And so far, it looks like the trophy lake trout is one that really really brings in some money now this one I caught here was my personal best believe it or not uh, almost 30 pounds 29.923 pound he's a good size and caught him off the medium one and a half ounce spoon so that's what we're gonna do today guys I mean I could go after some uniques I could go after some of the splakes but before I can do anything more I've got to pay for this trip so let's see how best to do that. So I guess this is sort of like farming, like we did. So since we're kind of keeping to that theme a little bit, I think that's what we're going to do today. All right, guys. Now, oh, before I go any further, let me show you some of the gear I have. Now, I have mixed my gear quite extensively here. I've got this rod here, which happens to be called... A River Tex Sal Monster. This one I got when I was up at Kanique Creek with the Redfish 4500. This is a heavy duty rod. It can hold very heavy line. In fact, I think I have a .22 Floral, which I believe is 32 pound test. Then I've got one somewhere in the mid range with my Farcaster. That's a, my Farcaster 8 foot by 6 inch with a Cyclone 5500 reel. And that kind of gives me like a middle of the range as you know I caught quite a few there let's see and then I brought my elemental so I can go after the smaller guys 
And then I've got a couple of float rods here, which I'm not going to cover right at the moment because we're going to be doing some bait casting at this point. So I think I'm going to start off with my sow monster. Now right now I have a two ounce spoon. I haven't tried that yet. Now before I tried the one and a half and I'm kind of curious to see if I can catch an even bigger lake trout than I did just a little while ago. Now when I was here the first time I used to cast straight from the middle of the dock right about here. And I don't know if you can see it over there, but most of those trees over there, they have like snow on them. Well, this one right here doesn't have as much snow, and that's the one I always aimed for. Aim right out there as far as you can go. And let the thing drop as far as it's going to drop. Now, one thing I noticed when I was here last, there seems to be a bit of a glitch. It doesn't want to all get all the way to the bottom. I sat there for a long time and it just sat... Well, it's going to make a liar out of me now. Maybe it was just that one time. Okay, that's fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a stop and go. The lift and drop, I tried it and didn't have as much luck as I did with the stop and go. So I put it to about two notches. And I've got this way up because, this, like I said, this is a powerful rod. But we're going to do a stop and go action here. Yeah, I think the reason why it did, did go all the way down is it seems to go all the way down closer in. So we'll get to test out that theory here in a second. Alright, let's cast this out again. Let's get this as far as we can get it. There we go. 168, not too bad. I'm going to let this drop as far as I can, but I'm not going to sit here too long because I passed a few times it didn't get to the bottom. It's looking like it's going to do that again. I don't know why it does that. Maybe there's some grass out there that I can't see. It's hard to tell. But anyway, let's go ahead and give it. start doing a stop and go in here. There it goes. Yeah, usually right around here is where they strike. There we go. Right around there, just like just like clockwork. And this one's a little bit heftier than the last one I got. I don't know that it's a trophy, but he is... I mean, we're talking heavy-duty line, and he's pulling against it. With the tension, or the drag, almost all the way up here. Come on. Come on, we want to see you. Come on, we want to see you. Little fishy. Well, he may not be a little fishy. Let's see what he is here, guys. Ooh, another trophy. See, look at the cash, guys. 1,993. Well, you're going to need it. <laughs> it's kind of pricey to stay here, but the thing is, once you get here, you need to kind of hang out for a while because you're going to need to catch as many of these guys as you possibly can. Because you got to pay for your trip. The trip is a bit costly. It's I think eight thousand to make the trip, a thousand per day. That's not the bad part. <laughs> Believe it or not, the bad part is the license. The license runs about I think eight thousand or eleven thousand if you want to be there three days or more. Anything less than that, you're not going to. You're not going to get anything unless you have all day to mess with it, which I don't.
But see how that little blue came on? That's how they, they attack it. They kind of come at it. You'll see a little bit of blue. And what I should have done that time is I should have just let him take it a little bit better. He wasn't real certain that he wanted it. But usually once I get in about 52 feet or more, it's... Now I think I just got a snag that time. All right, let's try that again. Hundred and seventy feet, not too bad. Yeah, I'm thinking of switching back to the uh, one and a half. This may be a little bit big for your average lake trout. Maybe not for your trophy lake trout. Average lake trout, this may be a little large. All right, let's bring it in, guys, because I think it's just going to hover there. There it goes. That is so weird. It must be something here it's floating on. For some reason here, I don't get the lift and drop as well. I notice it turns to twitching every time. That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, let's switch this over to the one and a half, guys. I have really been getting that bug a lot. Where I can't see my, my lure. All right, this is the one and a half. Now this is a 4 odd instead of a 6 odd. I was just trying out the 6 odd just to see if it had any different results, and it seemed to. I was getting more trophies, but fewer fish. <laughs> okay, I think it might go to bottom this time. We'll have to let, we'll let it... And maybe not. No, there it goes. Okay, it's very deep here. There we go. I had to switch over from the stop and go to on my real speed. Oh boy, he is a big one. This is a big fella. This is another big fella, guys. I mean, with this big reel, when I have to fight them to pull them in, then they're good size. Jeez. Come on. I want to see you, dude. What do we got here? Another personal record. 30.644 pounds, 2,085 cash. Heck yeah, we're keeping him. Heck yeah, we're keeping him. Alright guys, I think I'm going to switch over to a different bait. Now, when I was here before, I also have had a lot of luck catching these guys on these spinners. And I also had luck catching them with the crankbaits. Now, these guys are deep, deep water. So we're going to go with a deep, deep crankbait. I don't have any of my 30 foot ones left, so we're going to have to go with this green one. Now I don't know for sure whether or not this is going to work or not, because perfectly honest I haven't tried it in a year and a half. <laughs> so let's give this a shot. We'll see if they go after this still. I can't cast start nearly as far, but we're going to take this down to about one notch there. And then we'll start slowly retrieving it in, see what we get. If anything. And we'll give it a few casts. Now, 
I won't make you watch for everyone, obviously, unless I come up with a decent story to tell. But it would be cool if we could get something here, guys. It's been a while since we've been here. And I do like catching these guys. So far, the only resistance I'm getting is just what's in the water itself. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm not real pleased with the cast distance here. And that might be partly due to the fact that I've got kind of heavy line on here. So what I'm might do after this next cast is I might put some light well there we go whoa 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 shoot daggone it <laughs> I had the tension on too strong daggone it and I couldn't get it off quick enough shoot I just lost my crankbait dag nabbit dag nabbit alright well we'll put this one on here we have another one it isn't green but it'll work Boy, he took, he snapped that with like it was nothing, didn't he? All right, we'll keep this very low. You know, it very well may be that these guys are too big to bring in. There we go. Okay, there we go. They like that. Okay. We gotta watch that tension. We gotta watch that tension. All right, I can go up a little bit. Go a little bit more, but that's about the extent of what I can do right there, guys. Not sure what we got here, but he is giving us a bit of a fight. There we go. And it's Atlantic Salmon. Very nice. So let's keep that. Looks like they like the crankbait. About 23 foot 3 aught. That's two times they went for it. So Lake Trout and Atlantic Salmon right out this way guys yeah I'm not so sure that I'm gonna go with a little bit lighter line <laughs> that was I mean you can see how little I have on it and it was it was to its limit yeah I don't think the river tex yep I don't think the river tex is gonna allow me to To use this kind of lure it's a little too light there we go very nice yeah they just they don't come but in trophy nothing bigger than that but they do bring about the same amount of cash as a lake trout as well which is a good way to bring in some cash here pay for this trip so we're gonna lake trout it and we're gonna do the salmon yep they're definitely biting whoa oh well that is that's interesting guys check it out it's a burbot. I was not expecting that. Aren't they a funky looking fish? Now these guys, they pretty much fill the same niche that is filled by catfish down south. They're bottom feeders. And I believe they're good eating, but I don't know much about their how they taste, but... 
interesting to see him go after that lure. Really interesting. See if we can get us another Atlantic salmon. And there he is. Okay, we're going to need to take the tension up a little bit. Whoa, come on, don't do that. Don't do that. He's going to resist. Resistance is futile. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. Come on. Come on, little fishy. Come on, little fishy. Come on. There you go. Nice. He's a little bit bigger, 667. That's why he was such a tough one to bring in. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Well, I'll tell you what. Just, just for giggles, let's try our little spinner bait. Now, I'm not going to be casting it out there because something's going to snap that off in a heartbeat. But along the shoreline, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I'm going to cast it right along here. Now, I used to be able to bring in some pretty decent perch with these spinner baits. And what I usually do is I let it drop to the bottom. I let it drop to the... There we go. Okay, I'm starting to wonder there. And I just slowly reel it in and do a little twitching action. Just every now and then to attract their attention. And we'll try different methods here because with the past several updates, things have changed. What used to work may not work anymore. Whoa, looks like I had a fish, but he didn't get on the hook. Okay, we'll try that again. I think I might try lift and drop this time. Usually for trout, the lift and drop works very well. And I'm usually pretty good at getting a lift and drop with this re rod and reel. There we go. There we go. We got something that time. What have we got, my friends? What have we got? It's decent sized. Well, he went for that perch. Nano spitter pretty darn fast, whatever he was. I'm trying to see. I think he's a perch, but I can't tell. It's, oh, it's brook trout. Nice. Nice little brook trout. Yeah, we'll keep him. 255. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's been way too long since I've been here. Yeah, there's been a few alterations and some kinks since the last time I fished this, but for the most part, it seems to be the same. I will say one thing. It seems like the lake trout do a little bit more biting earlier. The only problem is this line's looking a little bit worn down. I'm down to 44%. Okay. 
There we go. Now that was at the last minute. <laughs> There's another brook trout. Not a bad little guy. Not a bad little guy at all. All right, guys. I'm going to try one more shot at catching one of these lake trout. And I think we're going to call this an episode. Here we go. Come to me. <laughs> All right, let's bring this fellow in and see what he got here. Lake trout. Not the biggest one, but he is still a lake trout. Not a bad looking fish. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I'm going to be here for a while. I need to get as many of these things as I can. Let me take a look at what I have caught so far. Take a look at the old fish keeper. Yeah, it looks like I have caught 12,225. So I have just paid off my license. And I've got about another... About another 8,000 to go to pay for the trip, and once that's done, we're good. We're golden, then we can fish for whatever we want. But you kind of have to do that, but you, it, it doesn't take too long, as you can see. I mean, the lake trout bring in a lot of cash, as do the Atlantic salmon, so... And throw in the occasional brook trout, yellow trophy perch, you know, things like that. <laughs> anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, aim straight, cast long, and have fun. Bye-bye.